All right, so let's try this out in an example. We're given a vector valued function, we're given an interval, we're given a point within the interval at which this vector valued function is differentiable. It's differentiable everywhere, right? Um, and so what we need to do is we need to get two pieces of information. We need to get the point on the graph of r of t, which will be the point on our line. So we plug t equals minus 1 into the vector valued function. We get minus 1, 1, minus 1. All right. Now we're going to calculate our prime of t, which is going to be 1, 2t, uh, 3t squared. And so that means that our prime at minus 1 will be 1 minus 2, 3, right? Squaring the minus 1 gives me plus 1. So there's our, our direction vector, our point on the line, and we, we know how to proceed from, from there. The equation of the line is minus 1, 1, minus 1, plus t times 1, minus 2, 3. Okay, that's the vector equation of the line. If you want to go from there to get, say, parametric or, or symmetric equations for the line, you can, but generally we like to stick with the vector equation in this context of vector-valued functions.